Hey, everybody. That Bird Finds here. I'm Mary Beth. And I'm Laura. Don't adjust your sets. You are looking at the ultimate mystery box unboxing. That's right. We started with part one of a video from Layman's. And we're going to show you what we brought home from that video. But this whole box here was not in the a previous video. Okay, so what do you want to do first? Do you want to show your stuff first? Yes. Okay. Let's just do that. So I did end up getting the blue and white tins. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And then just as a reminder, we did this unboxing at Layman's. Layman's, uh, my mom kept a lot of the items, but these are the items that I brought home with us because they're just not her vibe. So we got these, this really pretty tablecloth that was in the video. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay. Mary Beth. Very nice. Um, these linens that we showed in the video, this pretty purple and white one. Okay. And those are super cute. Very nice. Of course, we brought home the basket and I did get a sale for that one. So that one's going out tonight. Okay. In the mail. Very good. To a viewer. Um, we brought home this little piece, that little Japan piece. Made it back with us. Cool. And if you want to see these in closer detail, you can just look at the previous video. But I promised everybody I would show exactly what I brought home. So Very that good. little piece. And then two more. The little hand mirror that's Japan. Okay. And also this little guy. This what little, is that? I know, it's a bird. And look, he's made out of horn. Look, turn him upside down and you can kind of see... Interesting. Isn't that weird? Very cool. Very cool. Very nice. So some of the stuff had tags. So I'm assuming that the lady had a little booth or something. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, but now then, all of this is new territory because I didn't film the unboxing at Layman's of this part. To be honest, Laura, you probably didn't film anything. <laughs> okay. You recorded it. Oh, okay. You recorded. videoed. I videoed. You didn't film it. Right. Sorry. You weren't with me to do your masterful videoing skills. I don't film either. I mean, let's be clear. <laughs> so, I videoed what I could, but then we had to keep going, had to keep unboxing. And so, this is the stuff that Joy sent home with us. Okay. Look at how weird that is. Yeah, that's really weird. I don't know if that's going to focus <laughs> or not. I'm shooting this upside down, so if my <laughs> handwork isn't very good, that's why. That's oh, that's funny. really strange. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay. First off, we have a little bank. Sorry, I'm trying to get my bearings. There we go. That's cute. A bank. I'm glad you're doing that and not me. I can't do that upside down. Yeah, I'm doing it upside down, and anyway... So it has a little lock on it. Yeah. Isn't and that cute? It has a place for your, your coins right there. The back has a lock so you can like open the back door to get your money out. And we do have the key. It's on the safety pin right here. So we have the key to the lock. That's cute. That's pretty cute. And then just like that, this is a jewelry box. Okay. Isn't that cute? Lovely. It has a little thatched roof. Mm -hmm. And then you open up the roof. Stop it. And it's a little music jewelry box. Wasn't that adorable? Isn't that sweet? Lovely. I had one similar to that as a little girl. That's really nice. <laughs> okay. Shall we just dive in here? Yeah. It's like, where do you even start? I know. Does Look anybody that. need to make a phone call? If you do, we have a phone and you can make a phone call. <laughs> there you go. A red phone is pretty important. It is really, really important. Like like the emergency, the hotline. <laughs> These are some of my favorite things I've seen lately. What is this? It's, um, they're, they're little pieces of ceramic, but they're like enamel on copper is what they are. Wow. And look how they're framed so mid-century. Aren't they cute? Yeah. With those, the bright turquoise and yellow. Um, this, the lady whose estate this was, was an artist herself. And so she had an eye for art pieces. Okay. And I think these are, these are pretty cool. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can get that to focus if I put it up there close. Cool. 
Aren't those really cool? Lovely. I think those are great. Okay. Here's a book. I think some of the things we just kind of rescued, I don't know exactly about this book, but old books are always cool to decorate with and stuff. The Poems of William Morris. There you go. Very cool. Poems of William Morris. You don't want to read a poem out of there? Probably not. <laughs> this says Bakelite Mustard Container France. Yeah, we're in luck with some of that stuff. It was marked because it was in like a little booth or a little boutique. Now, the, I think the only thing wrong with that is it has just a little tiny chip right here. Oh, yeah. But isn't that cool? It is. Very, very cool. I'm trying to get that to focus right there. Awesome. I don't know what that little piece. Here, let me have that. That probably goes to something. Oh, look. This looks like a wolf reading a story to his little wolf children. Isn't that sweet? I think those are collectible. Those little nursery rhyme kind of plates. You think? Mm-hmm. I don't know about it. <laughs> You don't like that? No. Laura, you should be in charge of pushing the screen to make it focus. Oh, that okay. Should be your I, job. Can, I can do that. While you're over there doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh everybody you're really going to get some hate. Yeah, everybody watching now. is going to think I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> you better watch out. We have two little individual, I, I believe they're probably pepper shakers. They each have two. Uh, little holes on the bottom and they both are the very same. Aren't so, they sweet? It's my opinion that they're probably the same little guy, but you could use them together. Why not? Right? And they yeah. both have their stoppers. They're so sweet. Super cute. Okay. What else we got? I don't know. We've got a lot of like these lamp things. I think those, there's a couple of those, those old vintage light fixtures and I think that those would be cool on eBay. I really think those um, would sell on eBay, especially that one. Look at the paint on that one. It's kind of like so? deco, kind of. Let's do it. Let's put it on eBay. I know. I think happens. they're cute. I'll let you put on that side. I'm about to get okay. out of room over here. Yeah, and here's another one. Yeah, that one's just a plain one. Look it's at all that old wiring stuff. Wiring and stuff underneath. That's kind of cool, though. Mm hmm. Cool. Oh, a little wooden cup. A little wooden. You could put your treasures in there. I mean, if, if you That's had really treasures, cute. you could put them in there and nobody would ever find them. <laughs> ever. <laughs> Will you push the, th the screen so oh, that we're going to focus? Well done. Oh, Laura, you're hired. <laughs> you did Thanks. it. There you go. It's really hard for me to see. My eyes don't focus very good. This says Lightfoot Butter. Famous for its flavor. That's what that says right there. You want to push the screen? Good job. That's just a really pretty ceramic piece. It does have a little bit of a chip, some issues there. Yeah. But that's still really cool. Isn't that cute? Mm -hmm. I love it. Here's some more books. This one is a Kentucky Cardinal Aftermath. Whatever that means. The aftermath of what? <laughs> I don't know. I'm worried. I need to probably read that and see what's happening. Oh, I like that one. Billy Bunny. Billy Bunny and Timmy Chipmunk. I can't stand it. Oh, that's so sweet. Laura's falling down on the job. I'll have to push the screen. Did you do it? I have to do everything around here. <laughs> I'm still looking at the previous book that you handed me. <laughs> this says The Heath Readers. Sixth Reader... Keith and Company. Oh, I love that. I love those poppies. You do? Yes. Maybe you should keep it. Maybe I, I might. I love that one. Awesome. Okay. This looks like, uh, what do you think this is? Like alligator maybe? I don't know. Maybe. It's just like a little case. You could also put your treasures in here. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's just endless what you could do with this. Put your treasures in there. It looks, money. I bet I bet it was like a travel jewelry case, maybe. I bet you're right. But that is absolutely some sort of skin of something. Yikes. Definitely. <laughs> oh, Laura, are you hungry? 
Laura. Oh boy. Are you hungry? Or do you want to make some wine? Isn't that crazy? I have lots of grapes here. Look, I've grapes for days. Here, let me just let me just see if you can like these. Oh gosh, that's floral foam with some tin foil. Yeah, just grapes and grapes and grapes <laughs> and grapes and grapes. I feel like I'm gonna drop those. Does anybody have a need for some grapes? Oh, if you do, let us know. These are never gonna go bad, <laughs> and they won't rot. You don't have to refrigerate them. You could just have grapes all the time. We talk about mid-century tacky. There it is right there. Laura, they're not tacky. Well, they're, it's just, they're lovely. It's right up somebody's alley. I, I think they'll really like some. I love grapes. All right. That makes me kind of want some grapes, honestly. <laughs> I really like this. Oh, that's pretty. This is like tortoise shell, I think. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it looks like a, a deer antler. And I guess you could put your rings on it, your huh. jewelry. Yeah, the little tag says made in England. I'm I don't know that about that, but um, that's what this person says. Yeah, I love it. That's a so, cool one. It's really cool. What is that tag? Is that a tag on the bottom? Yeah, but it's so small, I can't really read it. It just says made in England. I mean, a sticker on the bottom. Oh, a sticker on the bottom. No. No. Made in... England. Oh. It's stamped. It's like in the... Very nice. It's like... Uh, well, that's cool whatever. then. I like that. Mm-hmm. I'm, in, I'm into dresser collectibles these days. Here's a big box with a handle. Let's see what happens. Oh, boy. What's in there? Oh, it's a mirror. <laughs> Look, you can see the camera. <gasps> It's a secret. Very cool. So that might be fun to put jewelry in. Will you hit the, the screen so that we're focused on the box? Thank you. Go ahead. Now do what you're doing. Taking these out? Yeah, if you want. Oh. Yeah. Cool. So that would be cool for like a lot, a little lot of jewelry. Yeah. Or it. even like a mystery box. I mean, we could put all sorts of things in those compartments and it would be a fun mystery box to open. That would be somebody. great. Maybe we need to do another mystery box night. Maybe. Maybe we have all mystery boxes. Do like 15 of them or 80? Yeah. 80, 80 mystery boxes? 80? You want to do 80? I don't know. You can be in charge of that. Yeah, I probably don't want to do 80. <laughs> That's a lot for me. Laura, would you like to hit oh, the screen? I love a vintage magazine for all kinds of different reasons. Yeah, that's a good one. We, when we do decoupage night again, Ruth Ann. Ten cents. We can use that. It's September 1937. 1937. Isn't that crazy? Wow. Okay, so we had to cut really fast uh, because we had to change the battery, but we're ready to go again. All right. We still got some cute things in here. Looks like we've got a couple of little like green metal trays. Tin trays. Those are so cute. Those are adorable. Very I nice. wonder if little kids like sat around with those and had their dinner on them while they were watching TV. Probably. <laughs> Here is a piece of art. That's copper on enamel again. You want to hit that screen? I mean, <laughs> enamel on copper. That's cool. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. The card says that it is an original and it's named Fairy Tales circa 1960. Cool. Yeah, that's really cool. And it's just like on a piece of wood. Lovely. I think those are valuable. We better look into those. Here's just a random piece of metal. <laughs> that probably went with one of those light fixtures, Mary Beth. Oh, I bet you're right. Here's a sweet little square pitcher. And this is marked um, Germany on the bottom. That's cute. That's transfer where that's transfer right there instead mm -hmm. of it being hand painted, but it's still really cute. Cool. Okay, we have some more books. This one says Steamboat Days. That's cool. Does it have pictures of steamboats in it? Uh, good question. I don't think so. Yeah, it does. Some like illustrations and things in here. Awesome. There you go. There's another big book. This one is The Arts. 
And on the spine, it has like a illustration. Sorry. Don't worry, Laura, I got it. <laughs> it has an illustration of like some musical instruments and art palette and stuff like that. Well, who would have thought you have to do that every time? <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. Fun. There I you like go. that one too. The caretaker's stories. That looks like probably some short stories in here. I want it signed by the, uh, the author. Cool. There you go. Yeah, we're down to the bottom, down to the books. The Mendelssohn family, 179, no, 1729 through 1847. There you go. Oh, this one's sweet. This is a little Mother Goose storybook. It's oh, I like that one. Small. I like that one. Oh, and look it's, how cute it's that is. It's illustrated. So sweet. This is really cute as well. This is like an early like Lincoln Logs game. You slide that open, then it has the little blocks in there where you can make your little house. Oh. And it has on the front what your houses can look like. That is so sweet. I think that's really cute. There's a dowel rod. <laughs> Fascinating. So, guys, as we're wrapping this up, it looks like we've just got a couple little books left. So, as we're wrapping this up, if you saw anything in this haul that you liked, you can send us an email, fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. We can send you a price and we can sell to you that way. That was cool. Collector's look. I like was looking at Laura. She always says it's the best way to buy something. It is but the she best way to buy something. She didn't take the bait on that. <laughs> I'm, I'm interested in what's in the box. This is like a little puzzle box in its original box. Oh, that's cute. Very interesting. So as we're wrapping up and as we're showing this very last item, make sure that you hit that like button. Uh, leave us a comment below. Let us know what your favorite item was and make sure you're subscribed to our channel. If you're, if you haven't already, this is a little box and let's see what's inside here. Oh, look, it's like cards. Oh, those are cute. It's a bridge set. Oh, I like that. So the, the cards, they, they like move over like a, like a jewelry box. And then they've got like their like scorekeeping pads in here, but these are playing cards. Oh, that's really cute. That's adorable. That's very fancy. It's a fancy little set. Okay. Laura, that did it. Hey, we that's, did it. That's the, that's the haul. There you go. There's some cool stuff in there. So guys, you know the drill and make sure you stay tuned to see what Fat Bird finds next. See you next time. Bye everybody.